ADATA XPG V2 memory kits are optimized for the latest Intel gaming platforms. Check the link in the video description for more details. Now we all know SSDs are pretty much the ultimate in terms of performance on a desktop system for your storage, but what many of you probably actually do know is that you can run multiple SSDs together in RAID 0, kind of like SLI for SSDs, to get even better performance out of them, particularly in sequential read and write operations. Now, it doesn't, much like SLI, it doesn't necessarily scale perfectly. It's like if you run 16 SSDs in a system, will it perform 16 times better? The answer is no. But without getting into expensive, fancy hardware RAID cards or other exotic solutions, we wanted to find out where exactly is the limit in scaling for SSDs running on a regular Intel desktop PC. We chose this platform because it has six SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports running off of the Intel chipset. The last generation Z77 only had two, so it was really hard to do this kind of an investigative thing. So we decided to run four different configurations. By the way, big thanks to ADATA for providing these SX900 Sandforce based SSDs for our test. We ran single drive, two drive, three drive, and Four drive, I lost the last box, I have no idea where it is, so don't worry, trust me, we definitely ran four drives, they're all there. Um, and we wanted to see where the differences in performance really start, well, disappearing, so to speak. So we ran three different benchmarks, we ran PC Mark Vantage, so we ran the storage subsystem test, and what you'll see here is that it becomes quite clear very quickly that just because you double the theoretical performance of one aspect of your system doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to double the real world performance because PC Mark is more of a real world oriented test. We also see that that small performance difference even continues to diminish as we add more and more drives giving us that sort of, well, adheres to the law of diminishing returns, just like you'd see with adding more channels to memory operation or adding more graphics cards to an SLI or Crossfire config. Now when we move on to a synthetic test, we ran both reads and write speeds using the Blackmagic disk speed test, which we found to be quite repeatable and quite realistic in terms of theoretical maximums. You'll see that once again, we see a very clear doubling of performance going from a single drive to a two drive configuration. But once we get into these multi-drive configs, Three drives still scales extremely well, but adding a fourth drive really doesn't do a whole lot for even theoretical performance. So while you'll still get extra capacity, when you run four 256 gig SSDs in RAID 0, you get effectively one terabyte of capacity, you won't necessarily continue to get a speed improvement, and you should also be aware that every time you add another SSD, you are adding to the points of failure that exist in your system and increasing the risk that just by a single drive failing, you will lose all of your data if you aren't doing very regular backups. So thank you for checking out this RAID 0 performance investigation with the ADATA SX900 SSDs. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Give the video a like if you liked it. Give a dislike if you disliked it or you're having a bad day or you didn't like the cereal your mom bought from the grocery store and you just wish you bought something else. And Leave a comment and let me know your favorite kind of cereal.